The lymphatic system is part of the circulatory system and consists of lymphatic vessels and the lymph nodes. This structure is a vital part of the immune system. A tissue inflammation enables a virus to spread, leading to an infection. This viral infection can be detected by antigen-presenting dendritic cells. These cells then travel via the lymphatic vessels to nearby lymph nodes. The dendritic cell encounters different lymphocytes inside the lymph node, but will only activate a lymphocyte sensitive to the antigen carried by the dendritic cell from the infection site. The activated lymphocytes will quickly proliferate. The cells are ready to travel via the circulatory system back to the inflammation site. At this point, the primary lymphocytes attack and eventually resolve the viral infection. In our lab, we study the process of T-cell development, which are a type of lymphocyte. T-cells are matured from thymic settling progenitor cells. These cells are generated in bone marrow and migrate towards the thymus. Once inside the thymus, these cells proliferate to large numbers and subsequently differentiate. These differentiated T cells express receptors created by randomly shuffling gene segments. This makes each cell sensitive to a specific foreign substance. Inside the cortex of the thymus, specialized thymic epithelial cells facilitate positive selection of the differentiated cells. Inside the medulla, different thymic epithelial cells facilitate negative selection by filtering out any autoimmune T cells. Persistent input of progenitor cells is required for continuous T cell production inside the thymus. In the early stages of development, the developing thymus functions differently from the adult organ. Inside the cortex, the cells quickly differentiate to both alpha-beta and gamma-delta T-cells that are therefore produced faster but recognize a more restricted repertoire of antigens compared to adult T-cells. For a newborn baby, this means the resulting T-cells are available to respond to an inflammation, but are less efficient when combating the infection.